compound clip is a kind of folder. And as you can see on that project, which is a 32 minute long project, I have a lot of compound clip. If you would like to know if something is a compound clip, you will look for this little logo in the upper left corner of every clip. So that one is a, is a compound clip. That one, that one, that one, that one are all compound clip. But why do I make as much compound clip? So let's take this one, for example. So I shot myself uh, for many minutes um, and I made a lot of cuts. So you see there is a cut right here, here, here. Uh, Sometimes maybe because I stopped to speak and I needed to make some cut. And at the end, I would like to make a uh, color correction. So instead of going to make color correction on every clip, uh, I know you can save the preset and uh, apply uh, the preset like, uh, you see, I've got a lot of presets just right here, so I can drag and drop the preset on all of them. But instead of that, I can select all the clip, hit option G to create a new compound clip and all of those clip will be now together. But that was already a compound clip, so I will not do a compound clip into a compound clip if that doesn't have any purpose. So as you can see now, I have my compound clip on which I can apply my color correction. And that's exactly what I did. Well, that was a simple color correction, but still, uh, I only had to make it once rather to make it on all of the clips. Uh, another example is uh, just right here. So you see that memory card uh, with that MP4 file going uh, there and oh, all of those stuff moving there. Uh, you see that's a lot of st stuff and I don't want a pile of media uh, on top of my main file. So I create a compound clip and if we double click on the compound clip, we see everything that is inside the compound clip. So uh, from here, we can see uh, yeah, the memory card, we can see, but, but, but still, uh, you don't see the MP4 files coming in because it is a compound clip here, a compound clip here, another compound clip here. So there is a lot of compound clip inside my compound clip. Uh, so if I double click on that one, uh, we do see the memory card and uh, the file just underneath it. So instead of having two clip, I only have one. And that's a good thing because there is already five click clip just right here. So then I put my uh, glyph disk and then you see that? that moving stuff. Uh, so that's 10 MP4 files. So if we go into the compound clip, we can see all of those files just right here. So I create, so I, I, I create that one with the animation and copy it over and over and over again. So that create that animation, but instead of having all those clip, I create a compound clip to make that movement. Voila. And later I made that Dropbox uh, box appear. And well, why is that a drop? I said it twice. Oh yeah, yeah, you see? Uh, that's the Dropbox name and that's the Dropbox logo. So instead of having uh, both of them, I now only have one clip with Dropbox name and the Dropbox logo. That makes sense to me. And then I've got that animation again, which is the same one as this one, but I have move. Uh, if you take a look at this, uh, I have moved the location, the position, 
here it's at zero and then I modify it because I wanted the exact same thing but lower so I move its location so it's, it's the exact same compound clip with a different location as you can see here it's the compound clip number 12 and it's the dumb number 12 here again the other advantage you have uh, with a compound clip is that if you go in the compound clip and I don't know you add a text sorry a text uh, so yeah we've got title just right here I uh, will move the title beside this this will be changed for all the compound clip so if we look at here we've got the title but now we also have a title here and I make the title to last forever like this uh, yeah I've got the title here and the title there because it's the same compound clip so that gives you the opportunity to modify something at multiple place by doing something only once so now if I want to remove the title I can go in my compound clip delete the title go back and there is no title anywhere and yeah uh, if you want to move from a compound clip to another uh, you just have to press that left arrow just right here and you can come back with the right arrow and now if we want to go back to our main timeline uh, we press here twice and if you would like you can put a compound clip into a compound clip into a compound clip into a compound clip there is no really limit so yeah that's what you can do with a compound clip and that's a very useful tool so this is it thank you for watching i hope it helps if yes please make a thumbs up if you have any question please ask in the comment below i may simply answer you or even maybe make a video just for you so don't forget to subscribe and what you do see back there it's from my main channel so please come take a look at this right there thank you for watching again see ya